Good evening and welcome to the Church of St. Matthew as we begin the sacred triduum, the holy three days of the year of the celebration of the death, resurrection, and of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to do the announcements before Mass so that at the end of Mass we can celebrate kind of through the Holy Thursday experience. Tomorrow evening is the last of the fish fries. It's been wonderful having so many people, more than 400 per Friday, eating. You're welcome to do the same tomorrow night. It's $10. It's 4.30 to 7.30, and it's only takeout. You recall that stations have been recorded, and so you can pray them at your leisure. You can find them on the parish website or on the parish Facebook page. Tomorrow at noon, there will be Stations of the Cross live. And then at 3 o'clock, the celebration of the Lord's Passion Good Friday with readings of the Passion, Veneration of the Cross, and Communion. That will happen at 3 o'clock, and it will be both in person here in church or online where you find Sunday Mass as usual. On Saturday, Holy Saturday, the celebration, the Mass of the First Mass of the Resurrection will be at 7 p.m. here in the church, and it will only be in person. So please don't try to find something online. Finally, on Easter Sunday, the celebration will be at 10.15, and it will be again either here in church or online where you normally watch Mass. So those are the celebrations that you can participate in for this sacred three days. Just a comment or two about the celebration this evening, Holy Thursday. There's a number of different things. The first is the presentation of the sacred oils, which the Archbishop blessed this morning. The second is the gospel of the washing of the feet Last year, we encouraged you to wash hands as a sign of service at home. Again, we will, we will make that same encouragement. We're not asking people to wash or to come forward for that in the church. And finally, the procession with the Blessed Sacrament at the end of Mass. We normally go down to the uh, weekday chapel with the Blessed Sacrament, and it's kept there for adoration for a number of hours. Those are the things that will be added to the celebration of Mass this evening. So now if you're ready to begin our celebration of Holy Thursday, I invite you to stand and we'll begin in song.
On this morning, the priests and the people of the archdiocese came together with the archbishop for the blessing of the oils, holy chrism, the oil for anointing of the sick, in preparation for the catechumens for baptism. Tonight, we receive these oils, which we will use in the celebration of the sacraments. By means of these powerful symbols, the crucified and risen Savior will continue in our midst the work he began as his death and resurrection, forgiveness, healing, and the newness of life. Behold the oil of the sick. Blessed by the Archbishop, used for the anointing of all who suffer illness. the oil of catechumens, blessed by the archbishop and used for the anointing of catechumens in preparation for baptism. the sacred chrism, oil mixed with sweet perfume, consecrated by the archbishop and used for the anointing of the baptized and those confirmed as they are sealed with the Holy Spirit. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace, the love, and the power of God that unites us in the celebration of these solemn days be always with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My sisters and brothers, we are gathered on this holy night to begin the Easter Triduum. United with the Church throughout the world, we commemorate the suffering, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we begin as he did at the table of the Last Supper. Lord Jesus, washing your disciples' feet teaches us the meaning of love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, giving us the Eucharist encourages us to love one another. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, accepting death shows us how to love each other and to love you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Now in song, let us praise God for the love we receive and the love we share.
God, you have called us to participate in this most sacred in which your only begotten Son went about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church, a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love. Grant that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Pray this through Jesus, your Son, lives with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of the month and then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of the blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt, I the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
presence of all his people. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ, with the blood of Christ. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the cup, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. spirit the gospel of the lord jesus christ according to john glory to you o lord it was now the day before the passover festival jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave the world and to return to the father he had always loved those who were his in the world and he would love them to the very end jesus and his disciples were at table. Satan had already put into the heart of Judas the thought of betraying Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had handed over all power to him, and he knew that he had come from God and he was going to return to God. So he rose from the table. He took off his outer garment, tied a towel around his waist, He then poured some water into a wash basin. Then he began to wash the disciples' feet and to dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter who said, Are you going to wash my feet, Lord? And Jesus answered, Do you not understand? What I am doing you will later understand. Peter declared, never ever will you wash my feet. And Jesus said, if I do not wash your feet, you cannot be my disciple. Simon Peter said, then not only my feet, but my head and my hands as well. Jesus said, those who have bathed are completely clean. They do not have to wash except for their feet. All of you are clean except not one. Jesus already knew who was going to betray him, and that is why he said, all of you except one are clean. After Jesus had washed the feet, he put on his outer garment, and he returned to his place at table. He said, do you understand what I have just done for you? You call me Lord and teacher, and that is right because that is who I am. 
I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, then you should wash one another's feet. I have set an example for you so that you might do just as I have done for you. The Gospel of the Lord. A group of Chinese Christians invited an American biblical scholar to come to China and to conduct a workshop on the scriptures. In the course of the workshop, the teacher asked the participants to select the episode from the gospel that impressed them the most. To his surprise, these Chinese Christians did not pick the Sermon on the Mount or the crucifixion of Jesus, or the resurrection of Jesus. Rather, they picked Jesus' washing feet. In his book, The Beloved Captain, Donald Hankey tells the story of the captain of the brigade he served in during World War I, and how the captain cared for the feet of his after long marches, the captain would get down on his hands and knees to take a look at the worst cases. If a blister needed lancing, he would sometimes lance it himself. Hanky said, there was no affectation about this. The captain seemed to have a touch of Christ about it, and we so loved and honored him all the more. The Last Supper begins at sundown on Thursday evening. 24 hours later at sundown on Friday, the burial of Jesus has already taken place. So this is the story of Jesus' last day, seen through the eyes of the Johannine community. You know, when a person knows that he only has 24 hours to live, he tends to do what is most important to him. Jesus had been with these disciples for three years, taught them. He was their master. The disciples lived with him, they ate with him, and they prayed with him. Now he has one more chance to teach them what it means to be his disciple. If you had just 24 hours to live, what would you do? What would I do? With whom would I want to spend that time? What would I want to say or to do? Would I be concerned about an unfinished bucket list? You see, when you're running out of time, you have to make serious choices. What choice did Jesus make when he had only a few hours' time left? Washed feet. This is what I do. What is it that you and I do that has the touch of Christ about it?
Let us pray the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. And from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. One way in which we wash feet each day is to pray on behalf of all people in the name of Jesus, our teacher and our example. For us and all the church, may we wash one another's feet in imitation of Jesus, serving those in need generously, relentlessly, and cheerfully, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all political leaders and organizations, may they work to alleviate hunger around the world so that even the poorest among us have sustenance to satisfy their needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those living in Israel, the Holy Land, the spiritual home of the Jewish, Christian, and Islamic faiths, May they be a symbol to the whole world of the unity of humanity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have responded to Jesus' call to service by dedicating their lives to God through the priesthood, may they be renewed in heart and soul as they serve God's people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish community, May we be strengthened regularly with the food of eternal life at the table of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. For all the sick in our parish and personal families, especially Aaron Jack, Jerry Genegas, Pat Pendleton, Michael Vasquez, Terry Coves, Jan Steinbrenner. May they receive the healing that Jesus gives we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. O loving God, hear our prayer.
pray that our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of God's name, for, for our, our good, good and the good of all God's holy church. Lord, grant that we may participate worthily in this sacrament, for when the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption, our redemption is accomplished. We pray this in the name of Jesus, who lives with you and with the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up, up to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and praise God, Almighty Father, for all you do in this world through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through the human race, divided by dissension and discord, we know that by testing you change our hearts and prepare them for reconciliation. Even more, by your Spirit, you move human hearts that are enemies to speak to each other again. Adversaries join hands. People seek to meet together. By the working of your power, it comes about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love, revenge gives way to forgiveness, discord is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with all the choirs of heaven, we cry out to you on earth with one voice as we sing. God, we bless you through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we had turned away from you on account of our sin, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might now love one another. Now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you to sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate this sacrament. When about to give his life to set us free, he took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on the same evening, Confessing your mercy, he took the cup, he gave thanks, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come, until you come again. 
celebrating the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer what you have bestowed upon us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. O Father, we humbly pray that you accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet graciously endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, with Bernard, our bishop, and with your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your son, bring us together with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with your blessed apostles, and with all the saints, with our sisters and brothers, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace shines forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, from all that is evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety. We wait in joyful hope for the coming of the Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, glory are, are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity according to your will. You live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world. Free us by this, your most holy sacrament, 
from all sin and from every evil. Keep us always faithful to your word. Never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say, say the, the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this age, we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity. He lives and he reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, love, and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail our Savior's glorious body. to